a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Instagram Instagram is a photo and video sharing social networking service owned by Facebook Inc. It was created by Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger, and launched in October 2010 exclusively on iOS. A version for Android devices was released a year and six months later, in April 2012, followed by a feature-limited website interface in November 2012, and apps for Windows 10 Mobile and Windows 10 in April 2016 and October 2016 respectively. The app allows users to upload photos and videos to the service, which can be edited with various filters, and organized with tags and location information. An account's posts can be shared publicly or with pre-approved followers. Users can browse other users' content by tags and locations, and view trending content. Users can, like, photos, and follow other users to add their content to a feed. The service was originally distinguished by only allowing content to be framed in a square aspect ratio, but these restrictions were eased in 2015. The service also added messaging features, the ability to include multiple images or videos in a single post, as well as stories, similar to its main competitor Snapchat, which allows users to post photos and videos to a sequential feed, with each post accessible by others for 24 hours each. After its launch in 2010, Instagram rapidly gained popularity, with 1 million registered users in two months, 10 million in a year, and ultimately 800 million as of September 2017. In April 2012, Facebook acquired the service for approximately 1 billion US dollars in cash and stock. Over 40 billion photos have been uploaded to the service. Although praised for its influence, Instagram has been the subject of criticism, most notably for policy and interface changes, allegations of censorship, and illegal or improper content uploaded by users. History Instagram began development in San Francisco, when Kevin Systrom and Mike Krieger chose to focus their multi-featured HTML5 check-in project, Bourbon, on mobile photography. As Krieger reasoned, Bourbon became too similar to Foursquare, and both realized that it had gone too far. Bourbon was then pivoted to become more focused on photo sharing. The word Instagram is a portmanteau of instant camera and telegram. On March 5, 2010, Systrom closed a $500,000 seed funding round with Baseline Ventures and Andresen Horowitz while working on Bourbon. Josh Riedel joined the company in October as community manager, Shane Sweeney joined in November as an engineer and Jessica Zolman joined as a community evangelist in August 2011. Kevin Systrom posted the first photo to Instagram on July 16, 2010. The photo shows a dog in Mexico, and Systrom's girlfriend's foot. The photo has been enhanced using Instagram's XPRO2 filter. On October 6, 2010, the Instagram iOS app was officially released through the App Store. In February 2011, it was reported that Instagram had raised $7 million in series of funding from a variety of investors, including Benchmark Capital, Jack Dorsey, Chris Sacker, and Adam D'Angelo. The deal valued Instagram at around $20 million. On April 3, 2012, Instagram was released for Android phones, and it was downloaded more than 1 million times in less than one day. In March 2012, the Wall Street Journal reported that Instagram was raising a new round of financing that would value the company at $500 million, details that were confirmed the following month, when Instagram raised $50 million from venture capitalists with a $500 million valuation. The same month, Facebook bought Instagram for $1 billion in cash and stock, with a plan to keep the company independently managed. Britain's Office of Fair Trading approved the deal on August 14, 2012 and on August 22, 2012, the Federal Trade Commission in the U.S. closed its investigation, allowing the deal to proceed. On September 6, 2012, the deal between Instagram and Facebook was officially closed. The deal, which was made just prior to Facebook's scheduled IPO, cost about a quarter of Facebook's cash on hand. According to figures documented at the end of 2011, the deal was for a company characterized as having 
lots of buzz, but no business model, and the price was contrasted with the $35 million Yahoo paid for Flickr in 2005. Mark Zuckerberg noted that Facebook was committed to building and growing Instagram independently, in contrast to its past practices, according to Wired. The deal netted Systrom $400 million based on his ownership stake in the business. The exact purchase price was $300 million in cash and 23 million shares of stock. In November 2012, Instagram launched website profiles, allowing anyone to see users' feeds from their web browsers. However, the website interface was limited in functionality, with notable omissions including the lack of a search bar, a news feed, and the ability to upload photos. In February 2013, the website was updated to offer a news feed, and in June 2015, the website was redesigned to offer bigger photos. On October 22, 2013, during the Nokia World event held in Abu Dhabi, Systrom confirmed the upcoming release of the official Instagram app for Windows Phone, after pressure from Nokia and the public to develop an app for the platform. The app was released as a beta version on November 21, 2013, and was lacking the ability to record and upload video, though an Instagram spokesperson stated that, we're not finished, and our team will continue developing the Windows Phone app to keep releasing features and bringing you the best Instagram possible. In April 2016, Instagram upgraded the app to Windows 10 Mobile, adding support for video and direct messages, followed by later updates in October 2016 that extended the app to Windows 10 personal computers and tablets. The Android app has received two major exclusive updates. The first, introduced in March 2014, cut the size of the app by half and added significant improvements to performance and responsiveness on a wide variety of Android devices. The Verge wrote that the development team had tested the app on devices not for sale in the United States, particularly low-end models like Samsung Galaxy Y, in an effort to improve the app for its user base located outside the US engineering manager Philip McAllister told The Verge that, more than 60% of our users are outside the US, and Android covers roughly half of total Instagram users. The second update, introduced in April 2017, added an offline mode, in which content previously loaded in the news feed is available without an internet connection and users can comment, like, save media, and unfollow users, all of which will take effect once the user goes back online. At the time of the announcement, it was reported that 80% of Instagram's 600 million users are located outside the US and while the aforementioned functionality was live at announcement, Instagram also announced its intention to make more features available offline, in the following months, and that they were, exploring an iOS version. Since the app's launch it had used the Foursquare API technology to provide named location tagging. In March 2014, Instagram started testing switching the technology to using Facebook Places. Announced in March 2016, and taking place in June, Instagram switched from a strictly chronological oldest to newest news feed to a new, algorithm-based feed. The change received widespread outcry following Instagram's March announcement. But Instagram stated that the feature would help users discover lost posts, writing that, you may be surprised to learn that people miss on average 70% of their feeds. As Instagram has grown, it's become harder to keep up with all the photos and videos people share. This means you often don't see the posts you might care about the most. To improve your experience, your feed will soon be ordered to show the moments we believe you will care about the most. On May 11, 2016, Instagram revamped its design, adding a black and white theme for the app and a more abstract, modern, and colorful icon. Rumors of a redesign first started circulating in April, when The Verge received a screenshot from a tipster, but at the time, an Instagram spokesperson simply told the publication that, this is a design test only. On September 24, 2018, Krieger and Systrom announced in a statement they would be stepping down from Instagram. On October 1, 2018, it was announced that Adam Mosseri would be the new head of Instagram. Features and Tools Users can upload photographs and short videos, follow other users' feeds, and geotag images with the name of a location. Users can set their account as private, 
thereby requiring that they approve any new follower requests. Users can connect their Instagram account to other social networking sites, enabling them to share uploaded photos to those sites. In January 2011, Instagram introduced hashtags to help users discover both photos and each other. Instagram encourages users to make tags both specific and relevant, rather than tagging generic words like photo to make photographs stand out and to attract like-minded Instagram users. In September 2011, a new version of the app included new and live filters, instant tilt shift, high-resolution photographs, optional borders, one-click rotation, and an updated icon. In August 2015, Instagram started allowing users to upload full-size landscape and portrait photos and videos onto the service, dropping the previous requirement of a square frame. In August 2016, Instagram added a zoom feature that allows users to pinch to zoom the screen to virtually zoom in on photos and videos. In September 2016, Instagram removed photo maps, which previously allowed users to see a map of their geotagged photos. An Instagram spokesperson stated that, photo map was not widely used, so we've decided to remove the feature and focus on other priorities. In December 2016, Instagram introduced a feature letting users save photos for later viewing. Bookmarked posts get added to a private page in the app. The feature was updated in April 2017 to let users organize saved posts into different collections. In February 2017, Instagram announced that users would be able to upload up to 10 pictures or videos to one post, with the content appearing as a swipeable carousel. The feature originally limited photos to the square format, but received an update in August to enable portrait and landscape photos instead. In May, Instagram updated its mobile website to allow users to upload photos, and to add a, lightweight, version of the Explore tab. Later in May, Instagram added an, archive, feature, letting users hide posts in a private storage area, out of visibility for the public and other users. The move was seen as a way to prevent users from deleting photos that don't garner a desired number of likes or are deemed boring, but also as a way to limit the emergent behavior of deleting photos, which deprives the service of content. In August, Instagram announced that it would start organizing comments into threads, letting users more easily interact with replies. In April 2018, Instagram launched its version of a portrait mode called Focus Mode, which gently blurs the background of a photo video while keeping the subject in focus when selected. Explore In June 2012, Instagram introduced Explore, a tab inside the app that displays popular photos, photos taken at nearby locations, and search. The tab was updated in June 2015 to feature trending tags and places curated content, and the ability to search for locations. In April 2016, Instagram added a videos you might like channel to the tab, followed by an events channel in August, featuring videos from concerts, sports games, and other live events, followed by the addition of Instagram stories in October. The tab was later expanded again in November 2016 after Instagram Live launched to display an algorithmically curated page of the best Instagram live videos currently airing. In May 2017, Instagram once again updated the Explore tab to promote public stories content from nearby places. Photographic filters Instagram offers a number of photographic filters that users can apply to their images. In February 2012, Instagram added a Lux filter, an effect that lightens shadows, darkens highlights and increases contrast. In December 2014, Slumber, Kramer, Ludwig, Aiden, and Perpetual were five new filters to be added to the Instagram filter family. Video Initially a purely photo-sharing service, Instagram incorporated 15 seconds video sharing in June 2013. The addition was seen by some in the technology media as Facebook's attempt at competing with then-popular video sharing application Vine. In August 2015, Instagram added support for widescreen videos. In March 2016, Instagram increased the 15 seconds video limit to 60 seconds. Albums were introduced in February 2017, 
which allow up to 10 minutes of video to be shared in one post. IGTV IGTV is a vertical video application launched by Instagram in June 2018. Basic functionality is also available within the Instagram app and website. IGTV allows uploads of up to 10 minutes in length with a file size of up to 650 megabytes, with verified and popular users allowed to upload videos of up to 60 minutes in length with a file size of up to 5.4 gigabytes. The app automatically begins playing videos as soon as it is launched, which CEO Kevin Systrom contrasted to video hosts where one must first locate a video. Instagram Direct In December 2013, Instagram announced Instagram Direct, a feature that lets users interact through private messaging. Users who follow each other can send private messages with photos and videos, in contrast to the public-only requirement that was previously in place. When users receive a private message from someone they don't follow, the message is marked as pending and the user must accept to see it. Users can send a photo to a maximum of 15 people. The feature received a major update in September 2015, adding conversation threading and making it possible for users to share locations, hashtag pages, and profiles through private messages directly from the news feed. Additionally, users can now reply to private messages with text, emoji or by clicking on a heart icon. A camera inside direct lets users take a photo and send it to the recipient without leaving the conversation. A new update in November 2016 let users make their private messages disappear after being viewed by the recipient, with the sender receiving a notification if the recipient takes a screenshot. In April 2017, Instagram redesigned Direct to combine all private messages, both permanent and ephemeral, into the same message threads. In May, Instagram made it possible to send website links in messages, and also added support for sending photos in their original portrait or landscape orientation without cropping. Instagram Stories In August 2016, Instagram launched Instagram Stories, a feature that allows users to take photos, add effects and layers, and add them to their Instagram Story. Images uploaded to a user's story expire after 24 hours. The media noted the feature's similarities to Snapchat. In November, Instagram added live video functionality to Instagram Stories, allowing users to broadcast themselves live, with the video disappearing immediately after ending. In January 2017, Instagram launched skippable ads, where 5-second photo and 15 seconds video ads appear in between different stories. In April 2017, Instagram Stories incorporated augmented reality stickers, a clone of Snapchat's functionality. In May 2017, Instagram expanded the augmented reality sticker feature to support face filters, letting users add specific visual features onto their faces. Later in May, TechCrunch reported about tests of a location stories feature in Instagram Stories, where public stories content at a certain location are compiled and displayed on a business, landmark or places Instagram page. A few days later, Instagram announced, Story Search, in which users can search for geographic locations or hashtags, and the app displays relevant public stories content featuring the search term. In June 2017, Instagram revised its live video functionality to allow users to add their live broadcast to their story for availability in the next 24 hours, or discard the broadcast immediately. In July, Instagram started allowing users to respond to stories content by sending photos and videos, complete with Instagram effects such as filters, stickers, and hashtags. Stories were made available for viewing on Instagram's mobile and desktop websites in late August 2017, in response to criticism that it copied functionality from Snapchat. CEO Kevin Systrom told Recode that, day one, Instagram was a combination of hipstomatic, Twitter, and, some stuff from Facebook like the like button. You can trace the roots of every feature anyone has in their app, somewhere in the history of technology. Although Systrom acknowledged the criticism as fair, Recode wrote that, 
He likened the two social apps' common features to the auto industry. Multiple car companies can coexist, with enough differences among them that they serve different consumer audiences. Systrom further stated that, when we adopted stories, we decided that one of the really annoying things about the format is that it just kept going and you couldn't pause it to look at something, you couldn't rewind. We did all that, we implemented that. He also told the publication that Snapchat didn't have filters, originally. They adopted filters, because Instagram had filters and a lot of others were trying to adopt filters as well. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?